All right, you two, bring out my theory. We're gonna get straight into it. This is the castle car hooked up. So, um, the first time I tried this, this is how most people run it. I don't know, I'm not sure about everybody, but this is how you're told to run it in Lois when you're using cheat timing boost. So, put it in Lois. This is how I ran the car with zero timing, right? Now, somebody I know ran it in low. Right? And they was getting more mile an hour than me. So I said, that's kind of funny. I'm getting less mile an hour, same gear, same everything. I'm like, you know, every car plays different. So what I did was, I just said, let me see something. I put this to 10. And I went back into sense it only. And I left it just like this. And ran the car all Sunday like this. And ran two twos at 64 miles an hour. So me going from zero, from going from zero to 10 definitely increased mile an hour. I changed nothing. So I went from 58 to 63, 64 mile an hour. Same setup. All right. That's with this same car, same castle car. That's me just trying. I've been trying this for the last two weeks. So remember now, I checked logs when I was doing it in lowest. Now, ESC, sorry about that. ESC and motor temp, because this is what I'm checking to see what's is it helping? What's happening? ESC and motor temps increase by me putting this to 10 more degrees. All right. This increased by 20 degrees and the motor increased by 30. So the heat didn't come from nowhere. So it has to be from the timing. So now I run the car like this all day Sunday. I don't touch nothing. Now we're going to talk about the carbon chassis car. So let's get into that. This is how I run the car. This is how I tested it first in theory. I'm running my car, I'm going to tell you, don't worry about RPMs, but this is how I run my car. The other carbon chassis car. So we're going to cheat. I'm throwing all 45 degrees at it. All right. So say with this setup right here, I'm running 218, 214, 216, a dry tire. Back-to-back -back runs, right? So I said, let me take out 10 degrees of time in here. Let's try that. Let's go to 35. And then let's put this to 10. Right? I update it. Whatever. Go back into here. So now I got to add, re add them because I did it the other way. But all right. So now we got 10 in here. And now we're going to go to 35. That's 45 in, in total degrees of timing. All right? So now I tried the car again with this setup. And the car still runs the same exact numbers, right? Now what I do next, I said, you know what? Because I was seeing with the carbon chassis car, I did see I was only going up to 60 degrees, 70 degrees at most on the ESC. Now with this setup, I'm seeing uh, a little bit more. I would say 10 degrees more. So I'm thinking that this is in, from the motor time and I'm guessing it's just getting hot. So I pay it no mind. Now, what I try now is this is still 45 degrees in total timing. 35 plus 10 is 45. So now what I do is I'll show you. I said, let me try something else. I go to lowest. Right. That's five. Then I go back into censored only. Hit cheat. Bam. I said, let me try 45. Bam. And then we hit update or whatever so now 45 plus 5 that's 50 degrees in timing i try that now i'm running two one threes and i'm seeing way more mile an hour all right and now when i check my log since i have 50 degrees now mind you i was only seeing 70 to 80 degrees with all those other settings now i'm seeing 117 degrees coming from the esc so i'm like where's all this heat coming from it has to be because this is total timing now this is 50 degrees in total timing so, if you think about this, let's let's break it down now. I'm not I'm not castle. This is just what I'm thinking. So this is what I'm sharing. This is what we all learning. So now, what I'm thinking, just for instance, you can go to sensor only and put this to custom. Now, if I wanted to, I could turn this up to just say 12. All right. I haven't tried it. I haven't got that far since everybody's pushing for these. 
I'm sorry if y'all couldn't see that, but just for instance, I put this custom sensor motor timing to 12. Now I go back into sensor only. I have 12 degrees in motor timing. Now I'm gonna go to cheat, press OK. Sorry about that, guys. Press OK, and 45. Now 45 and 12 is how much? All right, so that's 57 degrees in timing. All right, only way to know is to try. And I've been trying and been seeing heat, so I didn't just want to go like this. I didn't want to go the highest or put it to 20 max, for instance. I could put this to 20, go back into censored only, and now go to cheat mode again. You get the warning, say zero degrees or whatever. You got to read that. I can add 45 in total timing coming out this ESC should be um, 65. All right. So now when I used to run, do speed runs and stuff, I used to do it just like this. And I'm a sh not using cheat timing, but I would put it in censored only mode with a sensor castle motor doing a speed run. And I would only change this. And I would notice the mile an hour change right there off of the speed run. I would go from 110 and I'll probably add five more degrees of time and then get like 116, 117. But then as I gave it more, the next time the motor blew because it got too hot. It's, it's, it's has too much timing now. So you got to know when it's enough. So that's why you got to check logs. And you no, know, I'm not castle. So as I said, this, I could be totally wrong. But for what I'm seeing in my logs, what I'm doing is working. Like when I add that 50 degrees, I've been running this car with 45 degrees this whole year maxed out. No matter what I did to the remote, the fastest I got on prep was 206. Now that I have 50 degrees of total timing, I've seen one nine. Now, I'm not going to say who it was, but I've seen people run 10 degrees of timing here, 35 here, and play with it. And then the one nines with Castle. So, I'm... I'm was I doing something wrong by having it at zero and only 45? So I was only getting 45 and cheap. So now that I add the five more, I'm actually seeing. I changed nothing in the car. So, and then I actually see the one nine now. Is that because of the timing? I'm also seeing more motor temp because on my motor, <clears throat> sorry for the babbling, y'all, in a long video, but I'm just trying to explain. So on my, when I run 45 degrees here and zero here, my motor temp on my carbon chassis car is at 60 degrees max. And I have saved logs too. It's at 60 degrees max. Now, it's probably at like 90 degrees, almost 100 degrees. I've seen 30 more degrees in temps. So, something has to be going on there to be causing more heat. And I'm figuring it's because of the more timing, motor timing. So, that's just my assumption. Could be wrong, but it's working for me. So, I don't know. Hey. Everybody has their own theory. This is just me trying to put information out there that just could help. So uh, if y'all want to try the 20 in custom and 45, let me know how it work out. <laughs> but don't blame me if it blow up your stuff because that's 65 degrees in total timing plus what you got in your, in your can timing. So just for instance, I would say 30 on can. 20 here, that's 50 plus another 45, that's 95 degrees in total timing. I'm not sure if your ESC, your motor, or whatever can handle that. So that's why I test and I'm and I'm seeing this working for me. So hopefully this helps anybody out there. So um, let me get to the shout outs because I had to redo this video over after reposting my recap last night. I ain't want nobody to feel like I wasn't explaining my first video right. So I made it right this time. So still want to give a shout out to Stu Mac. Shout out to him. He does um, do a lot on the castle page and puts out a lot of information. Shout out to Dorky and 40. Um, also puts out a lot of information. Um, I'm going to be doing the same thing with this castle car now. Um, everything I do, if I improve, as I told y'all, I ran it in no time and with, with 10 degrees. I don't know if y'all want to try. If the motor temps is cool, I would try 20. Put it back in sensor only mode and see what happens. See if it increased. Then you'll know if this is really working or if I'm just babbling or whatever. But uh, shout out to Power Mad Racing. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody that's still running Castle and trying to figure it out and haven't, haven't given up on it yet. So uh, hopefully we can get it figured out soon and uh, really crack some numbers with it. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. Also, with that, what I've seen with the 
zero with the 10 degrees here and the 35 here i've seen this go up to 40 or higher right and i've seen low one nines not me but i've seen a person doing that low running low one nines with a castle setup so i don't know man i don't know maybe maybe we got it figured out maybe we don't but in the comments don't drop no negativity because as i said this is something i'm trying to work out and see if it's working so I'm trying to help just as well as everybody else is out there putting out information. So in due time, I'm sure we'll figure out if this is really working. So, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps somebody.